you know, coming from South America, I have experienced, I have seen uh, in our own country as in other South American countries that have gone through dictatorships or just oppressive governments. I mean, we see the case of Venezuela, which is the more uh, recent example that we all look at it. And, um, and you see how, I mean, just in Ecuador, we went through a, a dollarization of the economy. Uh, that was a bit after I have moved to Switzerland already. And then you just see how savings, you know, lifetime savings disappear literally from one hour to the other. I mean, one hour you think that you have, you're all settled and everything is in the bank. Next day, the bank is closed. You cannot get your assets out. And what you get back is like government bonds that are worthless, for example. And I've seen that in, you know, I've seen it, I've lived it with family and friends. And for me, you know, seeing that it is critical, you know, to understand that you do need to have a plan B in place and you need to act when when things are fine if you act or you try to be uh, reactive to things it's too late many times in the, in the best case scenario you will be able to set up something uh, in the worst case that's it you know it all stays behind and you start from zero and if you're young and you're strong that might not be a problem but if you're already on retirement like a lot of people you know or you just are not like cash and liquid to so like even illnesses, you need to go to hospital, you need medicine, and there is nothing there, that it could be really catastrophic. So just from that perspective of seeing, you know, governments uh, confiscating uh, from one day to the other, it's just one example, but there, there's manifold of those, then you do need to, to look in a plan B and have something in place outside. It's just about diversification is looking after yourself, after your kids, after your family. Uh, it's just prudent action.